the UK government's plans for privatising the state-owned postal operator Royal Mail have come under fire for underpricing the share sale. The Royal Mail is the, the most ambitious privatisation we have seen since the railways in the 1980s and it comes to a head this week. The, the offer closes on Tuesday night and on Friday the government announces its final pricing and um, allocation of shares and we get conditional trading. And then we'll start to know whether, as is being claimed, this offer is being um, underpriced or not. The government's range for the flotation is expected to be between 300p and 330p a share. But bets taken before the sale are putting the price much higher in the strongest grey market since lastminute.com in 2000, according to IG Index, a spread betting company. When we launched the grey market for oil mail, it was back in um, July and we started off with an estimate of around about £2.60 a share. But I think in the last few weeks, since it's been um, clearer when they're going to actually start to debut, we've seen an enormous amount of interest from clients. We've definitely seen a bias um, to be buyers, thinking the price is too low. And so far, as of today, the price is trading around about £4 a share. That's where our clients think it will be on the first day of trade. And that has fueled an attack by the opposition Labour Party that the government hasn't properly valued Royal Mail's property assets and that speculators will profit at the expense of the taxpayer and what they say is an unpopular privatisation. Labour is not going to renationalise Royal Mail. It will all have been done by the time Labour comes back into office. So there's no, um, there's no political penalty for, for Labour. Labour can make whatever they want of it and they can, uh, they can make hay with the accusation that it's been underpriced, which is exactly, exactly the tactic they used in the 1980s in the big privatisations when uh, British Telecom was one that was ten times oversubscribed, set very cheaply. Um, after that, the prices were set a bit higher and it became less so, but it was always Labour's, Labour's way of attack. These previous privatisations by the UK government helped to explain current pricing behaviour, believes David Jones of IG Index. As with all of these privatisations going back 20 or 30 years, they're, they're being priced quite attractively, I think, to, in, to ensure they're a success. And I think many people, um, whether it's private retail investors or institutions, there's always a great deal of enthusiasm around these sort of government sell-offs. The government says its book-building exercise is still going on before it decides a final price. What they say is that the price was decided after extensive discussions with institutions about what the market will bear. I understand that it's highly unlikely that they would try to go above the range they have set now, and they think, from based on what their discussion with um, institutions, they think they've got the range right. And there are, in fact, signs that the rise of the opening share price in the grey market is weakening. With the price nudging that £4 a share level, we have seen some sellers coming in thinking, well, actually, maybe this is getting a little bit overheated. So we have seen some selling today, but I think the buyers have still outnumbered the sellers by about four to one. All the brokers that are talking up this issue have some kind of financial interest here. They're selling the offer either to, they've been interested in selling the offer either to institutions or retail investors. Um, people close to the government tend to point to independent sources like our Lex column and other newspaper columns that have tended to say that the, the pricing is roughly right. And people in government are defending the price range. They don't think they've got it wrong. But the acid test really is going to be, will be not just the day or two after the flotation, but what happens over the next weeks and months.